In problem 11, we're asked to solve the quadratic equation x squared minus 10x plus 1 equals 4. In our next lesson, we're going to learn algebraic and computational methods for solving quadratic equations. In this lesson, we're going to continue with our graphical process. The first step in our graphical process is to identify the equations y1 and y2 that we're going to enter into our y equals list on our calculator. Once you've identified y1, in this case, as x squared minus 10x plus 1, and y2 as 4, then you're going to go to your y equals, and you're going to enter both of those onto your list, y1 and y2. Then we're going to graph on the standard window. So I'm going to press zoom and number 6, which is zoom standard. What I'm looking for when I see the graph is the number of intersections and that all the intersections appear in the window. This is a horizontal line. I have a parabola, so there's an intersection that I don't see in my window. I see the first one. I don't see the second one. It's just going to occur about where my cursor is. That means I'm going to need to extend my x max so that I can see the intersection. I'm going to go back to my window on my calculator I'm going to go to x max and I'm going to try 15 as my next option. Then I'm going to press graph. Again, I'm looking at the parabola I have here and the horizontal line. I see one intersection and two intersections. It's not a big deal that I don't see the vertex because that's not part of this problem. The important action is going on here where the two graphs intersect. So what I've done now on the right hand side is to go ahead and draw a sketch of the parabola, the horizontal line, and the two intersections that I'm looking for. So let's step through the steps on our calculator to find these. I'm going to use second calc number five, and then I'm going to press enter three times and see which intersection that gives me. It gives me the left side intersection, which is negative 0.29 comma 4. If I go with just a couple of decimals, so what I'm going to do is to identify that and to put it onto my graph as an ordered pair. Now let's find the other intersection. I'm going to go back to second calc number five and go through that process again, but right at the first step where it says first curve, I'm going to use my cursor to move the, use my arrows to move the cursor. You can see how the values are changing for X and Y. I'm going to keep clicking until I see the cursor start to come back up on the right hand side of the parabola. So you can see the Y values. There's the cursor. I'm going to get close to my intersection and I'm going to hit enter three times and that should give me the right side intersection. So now that I have my graph labeled and my intersections are clear, it's important that I distinguish between the intersections of the y1 and y2 and the actual solutions to the equation. The solutions to the equation I was given, x squared minus 10x plus 1 equals 4, are just the x-coordinates of the intersections of those two graphs, the y1 and the y2. So when I write out my solutions, x equals negative 0.29 is the left side solution, comma 10.29 is the right side. This is not an ordered pair. This is a list of two x values. So you're going to have problems on the computer that are similar to this. You'll need to separate your answers by a comma if asked to do so.